In this video, I'm going to talk about the chat channel features for agents. So what all things agent can configure in the chat widget interface uh, and broadly at a chat channel level. Now, uh, these are some of the features which uh, the agents can configure. One is proactive chat. So once a chat uh, visit loads up, uh, before even the customer talks anything about it, uh, it proactively asks the customer, hey, what would you like to uh, uh, address uh, the issue on, you know, within the portal. So it will just give a heads up to the customer, you know. Uh, it uh, the Another feature is for uh, enabling the file attachment both sided from the customer's and the agent side. Uh, allow download of transcript and allow email of transcript so our uh, agent can control the settings and they can either enable or disable it show the queue position imagine a customer has logged into the portal and not and uh, the agent has not yet been assigned so uh, it's wise to show the queue position that they are in say maybe uh, in fifth position or sixth position or any position based on the queue size and the length at that particular point of time uh, the next one is showing the average wait time uh, so if uh, if there is a lot of uh, traffic within your uh, customer service queue then uh, you can show that average wait time based on some calculation. So that's also possible. You can connect to reconnect to the previous chat, provided that the chat has been, uh, say, disconnected due to network issue, and then you are connected to the same browser session with the same tab and the same window. So that's quite possible. Uh, authentication settings. So uh, agent can authenticate the users, you know, based on some criteria. Okay. So they will be presented with a form and then the user needs to get themselves authenticated. There are automated messages which are by default uh, present within the omnichannel application. You can add your own automated messages as well. Uh, like one of the example would be to, you know, in a so proactive chat or maybe if an agent is, you know, like assigned. Okay. So those kind of things can be uh, configured uh, by an agent. Uh, now, operating hours uh, is also one of the things which is important in terms of setting up those uh, time uh, for the customer service uh, business hours. Uh, so we can specify that operating hours. Customer location detection. Again, this is mainly about detecting from where uh, the customer is being chatting from, like you are calling from. Uh, customer wait time, the position in the queue, which you have already covered over here, and then the average wait time. Uh, you can also configure surveys pre-conversation as well as post-conversation. So before we even have the conversation with the customer, we can send out some survey form for them uh, or it's kind of a basic uh, a form within the chat. Again, post-conversation survey is mainly a broader uh, Microsoft forms or uh, like, a, uh, like a user survey, you know, uh, which we usually send across to the customer to get the sentiment of how the agent has performed in terms of resolving the ticket co-browsing screen sharing uh, calling options uh, and then at a broader side designing the chat widget so co-browsing screen sharing uh, is mainly you know you need to configure some additional uh, providers to get this functionality up and running calling options video call and voice calls are readily available so it's just a matter of taking the boxes uh, but uh, for co-browsing and screen sharing, yes, you need to do some more additional extra steps. Now, let's uh, go live. Uh, so this is uh, the Dynamics 365 Customer Service Admin Center. And I'm in, say, Channels, and then Channels and Chat and Manage. Uh, this is one of the chat channels which I've created. I click on Edit. And then there is a uh, main line which, you know, like you specify the name of the chat language uh, and the workstream which is attached to then goes the chat widget here you can configure the chat widget now if you see over here you can configure the proactive chat so you just need to turn this on and then the proactive chat will trigger on so if you see the instruction that says proactive chat lets you send triggered messages to customer based on the rules you set in the code for example you could send say hi how can i help you with anything today 
you know and this is after some time interval like if the customer spends two minutes on a web page then you just send out a proactive chat so this is like one text message to be sent to the customer reconnect to previous chat this is all about connecting to the previous session if the customer has lost that connection due to network issue or something else you need to specify the time limit in minutes specify the portal url and redirect url make sure that it is all coming from that same url from where the customer has logged in previously okay show widget during operation hours so if we specify the operation hours then only that widget will be shown or we can even show widget outside of operation hours and then we can say that you know we are either offline or no agents available and then you can put some theme color okay so those all things can be set okay so you can show widget during operation hours or non-operation hours or you know both or you know uh, you can uh, customize some of the information show only widget in the provided domains this is again an important thing like if you specify the domain url then those widget can only be placed on that specific domain now if your domain is say girishwipple.com then uh, if i take this widget and put it in some other domain it won't work so we can configure that also over here uh, then behaviors if you see the behaviors you can configure the custom automated messages okay now here there are some custom automated messages created now if i click on add message then i can select the message trigger and say um, agent say take for example if agent joined the conversation then uh, you can say that uh, something else you know like you can say uh, a customer rep has joined your conversation and resolve your case in priority okay something like that so those all things you can configure okay um, just put it over here then you can do a pre-conversation survey um, and post-conversation survey pre-conversation service mainly about setting up those survey questions which i'm going to cover in an end of the video uh, basically it allows you to add a question the answer type can be single multiple option set or user consent those sort of things uh, post conversation service mainly uh, about dynamics 365 customer voice related to microsoft forms based interface uh, authentication settings uh, here you can select or create an authentication setting now i haven't created anything over here what it says is like if you want a user to authenticate like if a user says that the user is alex and then you want to confirm whether that user is actually alex then you can set some sort of an authentication uh, setting for that specific user to validate the information customer wait time uh, here if you turn this on here you'll see you can show the customer the position in a queue and average wait time it's basically it sends a customer automated messages with their position in the queue and the average wait time customer location detection when this is on customer will receive a prompt to allow location detection now again any before anybody in this feature you need to take the consent from the uh, user and also your data will be shared by the third party system so that uh, make sure that you uh, abide to all those terms and condition between your customers and then only make this uh, customer location detection turned on okay so that's it folks so uh, this is all about configuring the features for agents uh, in a chat channel thank you